the Nobel Prize in Medicine or Physiology of 2021 is awarded to David Julius and Ardem Pataputian for their discoveries on how we can sense temperature and touch. Julius, he started out uh, wanting to know what capsaicin, the molecule in chili peppers, why it makes us uh, sweat and feel hot. So he identified uh, the receptor for that and it turned out to be a receptor for pain and for heat. And of course the discovery of this receptor makes it possible for us to develop um, treatment strategies, how to, to deal with pain. Uh, and that is a very important uh, question, of course, a challenge to deal with. So it is of utmost importance to know the mechanism of this, which the identification of the pain receptor makes possible. The other prize, uh, Pataputian, he discovered the receptor that makes us feel a touch. Uh, to feel when uh, the skin is touched, and he called this receptor piezo 1 and then he discovered piezo 2. There are two of these receptors, completely new family of receptors. It is important to understand what touch does to humans because we know that it, it is a good thing normally and maybe this can be used to make us feel better, to understand that uh, touching our skin is activating all kinds of of processes for our well-being. Two researchers are awarded this year and both of them had their own strategy to, to identify these novel uh, receptors. Uh, Julius, he started uh, with a cDNA library, it's called, it's copies out of all uh, proteins that are uh, synthesized in a cell and then he put them into another cell and made uh, a long way of selection to, to finally find the cell that was expressing this protein that he was had an hypothesis existed and now he could prove that it existed. Whereas Patapunian had a similar but still another strategy where, where he instead locked down protein after protein to finally identify which protein that kind of turned off the, the cell's responsiveness to, to pressure. And in that way, uh, this is a very time consuming and long work, but finally both of them reached their goal to identify these two new receptor families.